Okay, I'm making another video in favor of Johnson Weld, but you can also treat this video as just a sort of basic economics lesson, because this is my field. This is something I really know, okay? Um, the number one reason to vote for Johnson Weld, seriously, even if you know absolutely nothing about them, even if you disagree with all their other policies, is what's highlighted in blue here. Single consumption tax. Unlike Ted Cruz, who didn't understand economics, Johnson and Well do understand economics. They were governors, and Johnson was governor in New Mexico, and Weld was governor in Massachusetts. They were Republicans over governors over Democratic states and they were re-elected by overwhelming margins because of their fiscal policies, because they cut taxes, because they improved jobs, because they cut wasteful federal spending. Okay, these are proven track records in both of these guys. Irrespective of whether you like their personality or their positions on other issues, this one will do the most to make your personal life better. I'll be out of a job if what they want done is done. I will be very happy to be out of a job. Okay, I make my living on people needing tax deductions because of income tax. That's how I make my living. That's how I've made my living for uh, about 40 years now. Okay? So I'm advocating to lose my job. That's how good this is, because people don't normally want to do that, right? Okay? Everything you see on screen that he's saying is true. I vetted it, and I'm going to show you a simple test about why this is true. Okay? Go get, or just, you probably are familiar with, your paycheck stub. In your paycheck stub, you will notice that there's about 30, 35% deducted from your paycheck. And if you were to just add back the amount that's deducted for your health insurance, okay, you would still have uh, maybe it's 40% out of your paycheck for your health insurance now. But it, you've got about 30, between 25 and 30% alone is deducted for federal taxes and Social Security. The Social Security tax is also additionally paid by your employer. You don't see that. You pay half of the Social Security tax and your employer pays half. Okay? So that ends up being a good 20% of your paycheck just before you even get paid. All right? Now, on top of that, on top of that, every time you buy something at the store, you are also paying for the income tax of the products of everything you buy. Like when you go to Walmart and you pay a dollar for a can of Tex-Mex tomatoes, you're paying for Walmart's income tax. They have to build the cost of their own income tax into the can of tomatoes they sell you. Otherwise, they don't have the money to pay it. Income tax is the stupidest thing on earth and Gary gets that. See, double taxation embodied in business income taxes. That's exactly what's happening. And the stupid Democrats keep saying, well, a consumption tax, which I'll explain in a minute, it's just a sales tax. A consumption tax hurts the poor the more. No, it's this that hurts the poor. Because a poor person needs to eat too. And when he goes to Walmart to buy that can, that dollar can of tomatoes, he doesn't have as much money, so a dollar is harder on him than it may be on you. But he's paying the, the Walmart tax. So when Hillary Clinton, or especially Donald Trump, say, oh, you know, we're going to tax business because a tariff means a tax. The government gets it. If you tariff something, that's a tax the government gets. You don't get it, the manufacturer doesn't get it. It doesn't save you jobs, it works, it wrecks jobs. 
It makes everything more expensive. And this is why. Double taxation and income taxes and a tariff is the same thing. So if Walmart gets assessed with a, a, a tariff for the stuff it sells that is made in China and Mexico, which is most everything Walmart sells, guess who pays it? You do. Okay? And they have to pay higher income taxes that Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton would assess on businesses. Guess who pays that? You do, because they get the money to pay the tax that's assessed against them by the government from what they sell you. Okay, now, hey, wait a minute. Why don't you just pay a single sales, consumption means sales tax, on what you buy? Then you control how much it is, and honey, it would be a lot less. How much less? Well, let's look. Okay, so I'm going to do, hopefully this will work really well. Okay, I'm going to go bookmark, toolbar, and there's a site, federal spending, where does the money go? I think that's the right one. Or no, it's this one. I think it's this one. Let's see if it's the right one. Yeah, okay, this is U.S. government revenue facts, okay? You got revenue, total, breakdown, details, change, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Charts. Chart gallery. Okay, federal charts. Hello? How come it's not working? I didn't click hard enough. Okay? This is the chart of direct federal revenue and gross public debt. All right? One of the charts, let's see if I can get it. I don't remember where I put it now. Revenue as a percentage of GDP. Now, government revenue means the tax is coming in to uncle. Okay? The tax is coming in to uncle. This is fiscal year 2016. The income taxes are 10 what is that? That's not... 10%. Yeah. 10%. Now, the GDP is like 20... Think of it just rounded off as $20 trillion. 10% of that, 10% is income taxes. 6% is Social Security. In other words, of all the revenue they get, 10% of it is federal income taxes. Okay? 10. All right, well, now let's go back here. This is so simple. If this is 10% of GDP, I mean, I'm, I'm simplifying a little bit, but not that much. All right, and you had a single consumption tax of 10%. That means when you went to the store, you'd have a sales tax, a federal sales tax of 10%. The price of the tomatoes would go down because all this is gone. It's about 30 cents on the dollar. Okay? Just like your paycheck. It's about 30 cents on the dollar. So your can of tomatoes is no longer going to cost a dollar. It will cost 70 cents. And then you pay another 10 cents as a consumption tax. And you have no income tax. You're not paying anybody else's income tax, and you yourself don't have any. That sales tax of 10% would be equal to what the government gets now, but it's only 10% out of your pocket or anybody else's pocket. And you're not paying somebody else's income tax, and they're not paying yours. And that's why your can of tomatoes, because this is no longer applicable, your can of tomatoes will go from a dollar. 98 cents at Walmart, but we'll say a dollar. Well, down from a dollar to 70 cents, and then you'd have a 10% income tax. The government would get the same amount of money it's getting now. And you'd have a 10% income tax, I mean consumption tax, sales tax. When you buy the tomatoes, you would have no income tax on your paycheck. None. Zero. From the federal. Okay. 
So now you're paying 20% less for everything you buy. Okay, here the tomatoes is the example. And on top of that, your paycheck got 20, 30% bigger. Probably 30. So, hello, in what universe is that not a good idea? Plus, you don't have to fill out the stupid income tax returns anymore. All right, this is why I'd be out of a job. Because my job would be needless. Because if it's a sales tax, then nobody needs me. You wouldn't have to worry about deductions. You could save what you wanted to save. You could spend what you wanted to spend. You control the taxes you pay. It's easy to understand. And everybody in America will be in the same position as you. Do you know how many jobs would be freed up if this money stopped going to Washington? And yet Washington is not cheated. They're getting the same money on a 10% income tax. See, 10%. GDP means the percentage of what the value of what we make in a year. So it's kind of like saying income. All right? It's not exactly, but it's close. All right? 10%. 10% versus 30%. And you control when you pay that 10%. So now your paycheck. is like getting a raise without getting a raise. So now the government is getting the same money. See, this is what these boys are after. This is why these guys are good to vote for. Okay? They think. The Republicans don't think anymore. They just emote. The Democrats stopped thinking a long time ago. All they want to do is tax, 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 tax. But who pays the tax? You do. Okay, if you're going to pay the tax, please, can you pay your own tax? Instead of the business's tax, because the way it's set up right now, honey, you're not just paying your own tax. Okay, so now if you're poor, that 20% savings matters a lot. If you're poor and you're on welfare, your welfare doesn't have to get cut, because the government is getting the same 10% it's getting now. Okay, so your welfare isn't cut. I mean, you can talk about cutting welfare, but you don't have to right now. The government doesn't lose a penny. They're just stupid about the way they collect their money. And what that does is it costs everybody else more. This is what Johnson is talking about by saying, you know, that, that, that a federal tax code does all the wrong things. Yeah. This is why. And it's simple math. 10% is what we're collecting now. Okay, just make that a sales tax. And eliminate all this. And your paycheck goes up 30%, the business's paycheck goes up 30%, prices go down 30%. How is that not a good idea? These are the only guys running for office that understand what I just told you. Not even Forbes got it right when they floated a similar idea years ago. That neat guy, Steve Forbes, I like him. But he didn't even understand that. Or he wasn't willing to talk about it. These are the only guys in any of the political parties who understand single consumption tax. And we know how much it needs to be because we've got these government charts. Hi, government is collecting 10% of the basic, you know, total income of the United States. Okay, so can we just make that a sales tax, please? Save a ton of money, create a ton of jobs with all that free money that starts rolling around, and everybody's got to look where to invest it, and where are they going to invest it? In making new companies, or improving existing companies, and hiring new people, and then more people have jobs, so less people are on welfare, and then, eventually, this 10% can go down, or we pay off the debt with it, duh, see, these guys are smart. Vote Johnson Weld. I'll shut up now because I'm getting too excited.